Helping mothers cope with the loss of a child to violence is one local woman's mission. With more families in our area being impacted by tragedy, she's hoping to touch more lives. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us now. And Ashley, a special event's being held in, what, just a few weeks? Yeah. It certainly is, and that's really the important thing. Now, the event itself is in mid-October, but those who wish to attend must RSVP by tomorrow. So earlier this year, Nikki Carswell launched a support group for grieving mothers called Silent Women Speaking. While she personally has not experienced the loss of a child, she knows many women in our community have. Her message is simple. You're not alone. These pictures taken this past Mother's Day March, the first event hosted by Silent Women Speaking. There, grieving mothers came together to reflect and honor their children through art. Nikki Carswell is the group's founder. It, it was something that I think that's needed for the community, for our moms. Um, I see a lot struggle with um, the death of losing a child and grieving. Some of these stories you may remember. Robin Davis attended the Mother's Day event. Her son, Glenn McNeil, was shot and killed in Jacksonville Beach four years ago. And in just a few weeks, these same moms will gather for another event. This one is called Poetry, Praise and Prayer. Carswell says Kendrick Johnson's mother is coming from Valdosta. Johnson's story made headlines after he was found dead in a rolled up gym mat. For Carswell, this is about sending a message of everlasting support. Sort of like in the community, once you bury your child, it kind of goes silent. Um, once it hit the air, once they're, um, they lower it down, it's the phone call stop, um, the community pretty much stops. So uh, for me in uh, the organization that I'm creating, I want it to be where it's ongoing. Carswell hopes this will also have a trickle down effect and prevent future crimes by bringing more people together. Solid Women Speaking is just me want to bridge that gap with moms and dads and our kids to bring that, that village that we need back to the community. Now, the event is scheduled for October 16th at the Purpose Fellowship Church. It'll be from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now, tomorrow, October 1st, is the deadline to RSVP. We are posting the information on to learn how to do that and the specific address on newsforjax.com.